Phil Mickelson has been nothing if not entertaining over his nearly three decades as a professional golfer. After 54 holes, the 50-year-old winner of five major championships and 44 PGA Tour events leads the 2021 PGA Championship and is playing for his sixth major championship of his career. Mickelson's followers have come to know him better than ever before in recent years thanks to his active social media presence. How did he pull that off? Phil is at his best when he's attempting an outlandish or bizarre shot, the most famous of which being his recovery from the pine straw on the 13th hole at Augusta National, en route to his Masters victory in 2010. Other recent examples of Mickelson's inventiveness include this putt from 78 yards out at a Champions Tour event in Tucson, hitting a driver from the rough, a flop shot with a fairway club. Business casual Phil. A button-up shirt for golf? Phil is the only one who can pull it off. Mickelson started his collaboration with Mizzen Plus Main in 2018, and we were treated to this delightfully weird promo. Experimenting with equipment. Mickelson is likely the player who thinks the most about his on-course equipment, and he's made some genuinely headline-worthy decisions with his gear over the years. You can always count on Phil to think outside the box, whether he's carrying two drivers or none at all. He just ordered a new Callaway driver, and at the November Masters, he went with a game improvement iron configuration. A survey on social media. Fans weren't sure what to anticipate when Mickelson made his Twitter debut in 2018. Fortunately for all of us, Mickelson has embraced social media as the ideal platform for showcasing his diverse interests. Followers have been treated to plenty of hilarious banter, fireside with Phil, coaching, and exclusive footage over the last three years, including Phil's now famous Magnolia Lane confessional, in which he ridiculed Matt Kukar and described his plan to launch bombs at Augusta National. Meltdown at Shinnecock Phil's utterly out-of-character breakdown at the 2018 US Open at Shinnecock Hills was one of the most strange moments in his career. Phil, frustrated by the green conditions, hit his ball with his putter before it came to a complete stop, earning a two-stroke penalty and creating a long-running debate. Charming quirks Whether he's wearing custom-made shades, selling a weight-loss coffee, pranking his fellow tour players, or simply taking their money, one thing is certain. There's no one quite like Phil, and that's exactly how we like it. The PGA Championship final round on Sunday, May 23, 2021 at the Ocean Course in Kiowa was simply insane. We knew it was going to be wild going in, and boy was it. But in the end, Phil Mickelson created history by being the oldest golfer to ever win a major event by doing a little bit of everything in the course of capturing his sixth major championship. Mickelson got out to a sluggish start with a bogey on the first hole, but he soon exploded with heroic moments that had the Kiowa throng ecstatic. At the Northern Telecom Open, Phil Mickelson won his first PGA Tour tournament in 1991. His first PGA Tour victory was by one shot over Bob Tway and Tom Pertzer. Coming from a 20-year-old amateur, it sure added tremendous significance to his accomplishment. Come 2004, and Phil finally managed to cross the finish line at the Masters, despite Ernie Els blasting two final round eagles at him to set the clubhouse target. With a playoff looming, Phil holed a 20-footer on 18 for his maiden major, aided by his late grandfather. Unfortunately for him, Tiger Woods won the tournament with a 66, but it demonstrated Phil's determination and mindset. He would never give up. In 2005, at the Ford Championship in Doral, the world's two best players faced off. Mickelson had a good day as well, starting with a two-stroke lead and shooting a 69. Mickelson won his second major title with a 4-under 67 on the lower course at Baltusrol Golf Club. And here's what. He won by one shot. A remarkable up and down on the 18th hole. Phil won the event by a whopping 13 strokes with rounds of 63, 65, 67, 65. It's absurd to be 28 under par for four rounds. What a win it was! Mickelson went on to win a couple of events thereafter, firmly establishing himself as the greatest left-handed golfer of all time. He defeated Tim Clark by two shots in an arrogant effort that prompted many to wonder if he could complete the Phil Slam. Unfortunately, he was unable to do so. On the contrary, Phil had a disastrous tournament at the 2006 US Open. Let's not bring it up on this special day. In the year in which both his mother and wife were diagnosed with breast cancer, Mickelson won the 2009 Tour Championship, and what an emotionally driven win it was. With a surprising 65 on the final day, he managed to beat out his old nemesis, Tiger Woods. 
The following year, Mickelson struggled with his driver throughout the first round of the 2010 Masters. The American had taken the lead for the first time after a birdie on the 12th, but a sloppy drive on the 13th put him in trouble, heading right into the pine straw to the right of the fairway behind two trees. Lee Westwood had a chance to not just equalize, but maybe retake the lead. Mickelson, on the other hand, hit a spectacular six iron from 207 yards, dropping just over Ray's Creek in front of the green and rolling up to four feet from the hole. He missed the ensuing eagle opportunity, and Westwood birdied the hole as well, but it was a body blow from which the Englishman never recovered, and Mickelson won by three. Rarely has a shot been so perfectly timed to seize an opponent's momentum, and in such spectacular fashion. In 2013, there were many individuals who believed the best of Phil Mickelson's career was over and done with. He wasn't going to challenge for a major title again. However, at the 2013 Open Championship at Murfield, Phil proved all of those critics wrong. The lefty put in six birdies on a difficult final day for scoring, shooting a final round 66, minus five, to come back from five strokes behind after the third round to win by three strokes. Mickelson was again back in contention at Royal Troon three years after his Murfield victory against Swede Henrik Stenson, who finished with a score of 264, 20 under, while Mickelson finished with a score of 267, 17 under. Stenson recorded a remarkable 63, 8 under in the final round, while Mickelson shot a bogey-free 65. Even though he lost, it was another incredible moment in Mickelson's career. Phil Mickelson won $9 million after defeating Tiger Woods on the 22nd hole of the match at Shadow Creek on the fringes of Las Vegas. This has to be regarded as one of the most remarkable events in golf history. Phil Mickelson, a two-time winner on the PGA Tour champions and eight years removed from his last major championship victory, was not expected to be a part of the story at the PGA Championships in Kiwa Island, South Carolina in May. Mickelson was among the leaders at the end of each round despite being all of 50 years. Mickelson won the tournament over Brooks Kepka and Louis Oosthuizen and became the oldest winner of any of the four modern majors after holding a bunker shot for a birdie in the final round. We'll be debating this for a long time. Phil Mickelson is regarded as one who will never take the easy way out when he's in a tight place on the course. Mickelson is known for taking shots that most might be afraid to, earning him the moniker Phil the Thrill. Lefty can always be counted on to carry that big tree that no one else can. Alternatively, when everyone else is laying up short, he can fly that lake in one shot. His creativity and confidence in every shot not only make him one of the all-time greats, but also one of the most entertaining to watch. Hope you all enjoyed the video! Check out our newest golf videos right here! Plus, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!